It was a pretty mild winter in Canada. It was nothing like it is here in Los Angeles. But it got me thinking, we got an email from a viewer the other day asking, how long should I let my car warm up before I drive away? Well, the answer is the same, whether you're here in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles or if you're in Tuk to Yuk Tuk. The amount of time you should let your car idle, zero. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you're idling your car, you're not only wasting gasoline, obviously you're getting zero miles per gallon, but you're also polluting the atmosphere because obviously the stuff that you're creating isn't even being turned into transportation. Your catalytic converter isn't warming up properly, so it's not even functioning correctly. And you're probably even washing oil off the cylinder walls with the extra gasoline that you've got in a cold running car. So you're probably creating additional engine damage too. Now is your poor little tushy worth that? Be Canadian, be tough, get a pair of gloves, get in the car and drive. Maybe if you're lucky, you get a car with heated seats and a heated steering wheel. I know Brad really, really loves that one. But please, don't let your car idle. And as for remote starters, well, DGMS, don't get me started. As I've said before, car companies spend billions of dollars trying to squeeze a couple of more percentage points out of the fuel consumption of cars to get better Transport Canada ratings. And then they set up the car so you can let the thing idle for 10 minutes going nowhere. It's completely stupid. So the answer to the viewer's question is don't idle your car. Get in, fire up. As soon as the engine is running smoothly, drive away. Now don't rev it too hard. Drive gently for the first 10 kilometers. If your car has a temperature gauge, once it starts to get up into that operating range, then the car is ready to go. Some cars actually have a little blue light that comes on when the engine is cold. Pay attention to that. But don't let it idle for your sake, my sake, and your car's sake. I'm Jim Kenzie.